Okay, so here are the jewelry sales. This is called a pen annular brooch. I was like, is this a buckle? What is this? It's actually, I believe, Scottish. This is probably my favorite piece going out this weekend. This had like over 30 watchers and uh, it finally sold. And Guys, the little crumb catcher butler, silent butler is uh, leaving and it's, I did pay up for these. I paid $9.99 at Goodwill, but they did sell for $52. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works. And here I am on the floor again, doing the what sold over the weekend video for you guys. And I have a lot of Art Deco jewelry growing out. I was really surprised. This is the Christmas holiday weekend sales. So a little bit longer than a normal weekend. But yeah, I sold some good jewelry bundles. Let's get into it. Okay, so here are the jewelry sales. Um, yeah, how was your uh, holiday... Christmas weekend. I kind of feel all out of sorts. I'm just so <laughs> discombobulated right now. Um, but yeah, let's get into this one. Do you guys recognize this from the jewelry jar unjarring from the antique store? This did test as sterling silver. This is called a pen annular brooch. I was like, is this a buckle? What is this? It's actually, I believe, Scottish and they would wear it on kilts. This one was a little bit more unique. It had like this long tassel hanging down. And yeah, it got a lot of attention. It sold for $35 and I paid about a dollar. We have this, this looks like nothing in the bag, but you'll see it on the screen. It is a chevron necklace and it has like a brass metal to it. And you can tell that it is like made in India um, oftentimes made in India would be, we'll have these like artisan looking hooks right there. And then there was one online, I think new being sold from India that looked like this. So this one did sell on Etsy for $25. It's going overseas. So I'm not paying shipping. The buyer paid shipping, paid around a dollar in a shop go to a lot. Uh, we have some Christmas jewelry going out, even though Christmas is done, you'll see that. Uh, as we keep going along. These are some Holiday Atomic Star earrings, which I thought were really fun. I picked these up from the antique store for $4, and these sold for $17.99. Okay, we have some matte pink tone fun metal hoop earrings, $9.99. Paid about a dollar in a shop, but a lot. This is really pretty. It has these mixed metals. You see this scrolling filigree? Again, it looks uh, like some kind of India um, jewelry, but I think it, when I looked it up, it was Tibetan, Tibetan brass cuff. Uh, sold for $12 on Poshmark, and I paid about a dollar in a shop good a lot. This order just came in from one of the subscribers, so thank you so much. Amy, uh, she picked up these shoes, which is Earth Origins. I think this is uh, Jennifer's favorite brand or one of her favorite brands from uh, my French teacher VA. She's also one of our moderators uh, in the Facebook group. She really loves this brand. It's nice, um, genuine leather. These look so comfortable and cute. She, she, she picked those and then also jewelry we have this interlocking chain it looks like nothing in the bag you might be able to see it better on the screen no maker's mark and then we have these apple jade earrings and i believe these are sterling silver hoops pretty sure but you see those little specks in there it's like an apple jade all right so this bundle sold for 45.58 and I paid about $4.50 for all of those things. Okay, we have another bundle going out. This one is another like jade bundle. I've sold a lot of jade this weekend as well. So we have, let's see, we have these half hoops. 
no maker's mark, I don't think, clip-ons. We have this jade and pearl bracelet. A lot of times these little spacers are gold, but I'm, I couldn't test those. So then we have these white jade hearts. And then we have this jade spray brooch with filigree. And then we have some carved shell um, hook earrings. So this bundle sold for 92. They used the uh, coupon code on eBay. So after that, it was 74.36. My cost of goods for this bundle ended up being $6.05. Okay, we have some screwbacks going out. I love screwbacks. These are some chandelier prong set clear rhinestone uh, earrings. These sold for $11.99, paid 50 cents in a jewelry jar. This is probably my favorite piece going out this weekend. This had like over 30 watchers and uh, it finally sold and it sold for $60. It has that emerald green glass with the clear rhinestone, very art deco, stunning. This came in an eBay auction lot that I won and um, one of the pieces was a uh, Alfred Felipe or something, uh, but the first piece sold within hours that I had listed it. So basically my cost of goods for everything else ended up being nothing because I made my money back like doubled on just the first piece. So I've just been tracking my expenses with zero for everything else that's been sold in that lot. So that was an awesome eBay lot to purchase. Um, they had not marked a lot of their pieces in their description. So I ended up being pleasantly surprised when these pieces came in. So then there's this one. This is a Coro uh, silver tone link choker. This one sold for $16 and I paid $3.25 at Value Village. We have <laughs> these seed bead fun uh, watermelon earrings. Very modern and I just have a thing about seed bead <laughs> jewelry, you guys know. And these sold for $8.00 and I paid $1.50 from my neighbor's lot. Okay, these I'm surprised took so long to sell and these did not sell for very much. These sold for only $8. They are, let's see, they are, it says, embellished with Swarovski crystals. And yeah, so even though these are not Swarovski, so these were um, sold at Sally Beauty Supply. So even though these are not like Swarovski, you can put made with Swarovski crystals in your title. And this is why I'm so surprised that these <laughs> took forever to sell and they're new on the card. Yeah, $8 paid about a dollar. We have some uh, champagne colored hand knotted 30 inch long vintage faux pearl necklace. These, this sold for $8.04. Again, I took a lower offer on that just because it's been sitting for a while and I paid about a dollar in a Shop Goodwill lot. Here is another bundle. Um, I think this one might be also going out to a viewer. So thank you so much if you are. And yeah, so we have these fun like enamel U-turn earrings. Look at these. So this is like a fun arts and crafts project. Um, and you know what would be so cute if someone like had them and they were like a driver's ed teacher or something like that. So we have the U-turn, we have the wood, like artisan hand-painted clip-on earrings. We have some, uh, I don't even know what this is called. Is this optic gold, brushed gold tone something? But we have these are like some stud earrings. We have these long, um, elegant feather pierced earrings. Oh, and these are my favorite. I have a thing for iridescent ceramic stud earrings. I love these so much. These are definitely my favorite. Um, and this bundle sold for $45.12, again, after the coupon on eBay. And my cost of goods was around $3.50 for all of these. Okay, this right here, this is a gold filled brooch. 
And do you guys remember I pulled this out of the jewelry jar not too long ago? These did test as rubies. And then on the back, it does say gold filled, like 120th um, 12K gold filled, I believe. But I could not figure out what this S stood for. It might be some oil company. It might be a random business. So because of that, I ended up pricing it low knowing that it would sell. And, you know, I, w I wasn't willing to spend that much more time um, and just not being able to find it. So I'm glad that this sold. Maybe the person knows what that stands for. Sold for $22.99 and I paid around 50 cents from a jewelry jar. Here we have another Shop Goodwill brooch. This one has like that moon glow blue beads in there, uh, unmarked. So this one sold on Etsy. After shipping, my earnings were $8.86 and I got it in a Shop Goodwill lot for a dollar. This is one of my favorites as well. This is an Arthur Pepper uh, bell brooch. Very intricate and beautiful. There's enamel and again, it's a holiday brooch going out. This one sold for $19.99 and I paid about $1.50 in a neighbor lot. Okay, two more. Austrian crystal. These are some art deco, very long like flapper length, hand knotted black crystal. It does say, let's see, here is the box clasp. It does say made in Austria on the back right there. Um, and this one sold for $39 and I paid about a dollar in a shop good a lot. And then this one came from a jewelry jar. It did test as sterling silver and it was missing the rhinestone in the center. I replaced it. It looks awesome. I replaced it with a vintage rhinestone that I had in my um, like crafting harvest lot. Then right there, I think it says sterling and yeah, this is about 1930s beautiful. This one sold for $52 and I paid about a dollar in the jewelry lot. All right, I'm going to put my earnings up on the screen for jewelry. Guys, the little crumb catcher butler, silent butler is uh, leaving. And it's so funny because I haven't edited that video for you guys yet. I have recorded it. So you will be seeing it soon where I showed how I brush my little jewelry crumbs. I'm going to get it. I'm, I need another one of these <laughs> because now I can't brush my jewelry crumbs. But right after this, that video, um, uh, I recorded it. This sold for $44 on eBay within an hour. It sold for full price on Etsy from, for two different buyers. So I had to cancel the Etsy sale because I had not taken it down yet. Um, so I was like, that is so bizarre that I record it in my video and then it sells on two different platforms. And it's not like I just put it up online either. I had it for like a month or so. So, uh, I paid 99 cents for this guy. Look out for them. It's a brass, brass crumb catcher. Love them. And sold for 44 in the Montessori classrooms. We also have table crummers. I think we called it a crummer where we would have the kids sweep up their little crumbs as well. So that's initially why I purchased it and found out that they're worth some money. All right, here we go. Val St. Lambert. This is a unicorn, I think. <laughs> Maybe Pegasus. I don't know. He has like a little beard. Um, and I paid $4.99 for this crystal piece. And it was because I was pretty excited to find a piece of glass. Let's see if I can even find it. Um, that had the name etched in it. So Val St. Lambert, if I can ever find it somewhere. Um, anyways, <laughs> it's somewhere. Uh, it didn't end up like selling for as much as I thought when I got home. I was like, ooh, a, a signed crystal unicorn piece. Well, I mean, it did sell for nine nine. Or, I'm sorry, nineteen ninety nine, and I picked it up for. $4.99. So I will put my earnings for hard goods up on the screen. Okay, we have some shoes going out. These are awesome. These are like an olive green Sam Edelman uh, lace up high heel platform boot. I did pay up for these. I paid $9.99 at Goodwill, 
but they did sell for $52. So some Sam Edelman shoes do pretty well, um, especially the boots, I would say. So yeah, just one pair of shoes besides the Earth Origins that are going out in the bundle. So yeah, I'm not too sad about this sale because it was at least $52, yay. Okay, we have our belts and accessories as well going out this weekend. We have an Anne Klein scarf, a vintage silk Anne Klein scarf. We see the hand rolled hems right there. And this one sold on Poshmark for $18. I paid $2.99. We have another Anne Klein. Let's see. Anne Klein with the lion. This is a belt. I picked this one up for $1.50 at Goodwill. Um, the Lion and Klein Vintage stuff does really well. So look out for the big Lion logo. This one sold for $24.99 on eBay and I paid $1.50 at Goodwill. And then we have, this one is Dolly Smith Sand Dollar Vintage Belt. I think the buckle is what sold it for sure. Because you could actually switch out this belt and just put the buckle on different um, belts but yeah so it's like a hook in the front with a double sand dollar this one sold on Etsy for $28 after shipping my earnings were $23.80 and I paid 50 cents at the Goodwill bins all right I will put my earnings for belts and accessories up on the screen All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and package up all these packages. I'm actually going to be doing a Zoom meeting today with like, in a few minutes um, with District. Remember how I put in uh, a poll on Facebook on like if we want to have a marketplace where we can put our craft lots, our wearable lots, our cheaper jewelry so that we can sell it there um, and I got an overwhelming response for they that you guys do want to have a place like that so I'm gonna be talking to some of the district people uh, to see how that all works I have been accepted on to Nick to sell on knickknacks which is Jocelyn's uh, the crazy lamp ladies her platform I haven't listed anything yet because I do still want to see what it's all about and see what I can offer for you guys and how it can be different. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a comment and make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. I want to take a moment to give a huge thank you to all the Patreon members. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you guys want to support this channel. And if you guys saw anything from the video that you want to buy, you can go to lilyworksreseller.com, click on the jewelry collection on the website, and you can purchase things that you had seen right from the video. Also, if you want to see what I use for my business, you can click on the description below my YouTube videos. And as always, you can click on this link to check out more videos from the channel. And also be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.